Hey super awesome stampers! My fellow demonstrator Katie Johnson shared the following tip on how to flatten our Big Shot cutting plates in the oven. So just so you can see how bold this is, here's the Reynolds wrap which is totally flat. Here's my Big Shot plate which is pretty warped. Um, I'm the only one that uses this one. I don't bring this out for events. But I want to flatten this out so that I don't have to keep on buying these plates. So what you want to do is wrap your plate in an aluminum, aluminum foil. I've already got three wrapped over here. We're hoping that I can do four at once. I don't know, we're checking it out. If I ruin everything, oh well. Um, so we got two on this side. The three that are in here aren't quite as bowed. We're still gonna try it. So I've got two on each side there. So I've got a Pyrex 9x13 glass sheet, and I've got water halfway up the edge of that. Alright, so, shove that in carefully, so don't get in the water. Game show music there, just taking up the angle. Shut it. And then we're going to turn it to 350. And my oven takes um, about 10 minutes to warm up. So we're going to check it at, at 30 minutes. So let's set our beeper or our timer. You know what? I'm gonna, since this is my first time, I'm going to set it to 20. Like Katie said, it should take about 30 minutes to bake down. I'm going to turn that beeper volume way up so I can hear it. Alright, so in 20 minutes we'll check our progress and see how flattened we are. Hey super awesome stampers, this is part 2 of baking the Big Shot cutting plate videos. So I took the plates out of the oven. I checked them at 20 minutes, nowhere near done. Checked them at 30, nowhere near done. Took them out at 40. Now let's see, they're, they're not too bad, they're not too hot. So the one that's all crinkly over here, this was the one that was super bowed. Oh, and it still is. Still is bowed. A little bit hot. Still is bold, but oh, so much better. So I'm thinking that I probably need to just put these in one at a time, not double layers like I did. Yeah, this one is, and that one was so bad. This one's pretty, pretty flat. So I think I'm going to put them back in the oven and bake a little while longer. Hey campers, this is part three. After 55 minutes in the oven, here are the three um, cutting pads that were not, not nearly as bold as that fourth one. So they are now that up a little bit. You see? They are now flat against the metal draft. And that fourth one I put back in the oven because it's still a little bold and I put the um, pan of water directly over it. And that should do the trick for that. Okay!
check in part four in a few minutes. Bye. Hey, I can't remember what part number I'm on, but after about an hour in the oven, maybe 10 minutes to cool, here's the um, plate that looks really, really warped. Really, really warped. And I used it, I butted it up against the round wrap box before I put it in the oven. Can you see that now? Oh my gosh. It is, I do believe, flat. Like flat. Like totally flat. So I think the trick would be, oh it's a little bit hot yet, to wrap each plate individually in foil and only have one under my 9 by 13. I had two, so it's taking a little longer. Here's another plate. This is cooled a bit, but it's pretty flat. See that? Awesome. So, 350. I'll show you the sandwich again. 350 degrees. Maybe it's freaking here already if you needed it. I think that would help my time. In the oven. I put, I wrapped each plate individually in foil, put it on a baking sheet. And then I filled my 9x13 Pyrex glass with water. Just water from the tap. Put that on there, and I bet you in about 30 to 40 minutes in your oven, you'd have flat plates too. Talk to you soon. Stand with you soon. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip.